Okay, another circuit. This one happens to be a pressure sensor alarm circuit, and it works really good. Pretty much, you use a piezo wafer like this one. I got that out of a phone, and I just soldered on the contact to the inner part of the disc, and I drilled a hole in the part you can't solder, and I put an aluminum rivet, which I crimped to a copper wire, so that's the ground on the outside. So I use that. And what this is, is a pressure sensitive alarm. If you push on this disc like this, it'll activate. All right, now, but you can also have it like under a doormat. So if somebody walks up, you could put a, a whole bunch of these in parallel. So if somebody walks up to it and they step on a doormat, it's going to put pressure and it'll trigger the alarm. Now, instead of using a piezo, uh, alarm like this, pin 3 can feed into like a 4.7K or up to a 10K and then into the base of an NPN transistor which would connect into a relay so it can activate something big on the relay side if you wanted to do that. At the output of the circuit not only can you add a relay but you can also use one of the delay off circuits that I have listed on my channel. So it would activate and it wouldn't click off that quick. It could maybe stay on a minute or two. Balls it is a all right, 555 timer. I got a 10 meg. I got a 1N4148 diode. I have a BS170. You can also use a 2N7000. I got a 104 cap. And I got an 18 meg uh, resistor back there. And this piezo alarm I got out of an old microwave oven. This is the circuit right here. I'll put the link in the description box. Now, I ch over here he shows two 2.2 meg resistors to create a 4.4. I eliminated that and I found a 10 works much better. Just put a 10 meg there. Over here I used a 100 nanofarad, which is a 0.1 UF. This is also an NTE490, a BS170, or a 2N7000. I made this one a 100NF, which is also a 0.1 UF. This was listed as a 1 meg, and I made that an 18. Runs fine on 9 volts or 12 volts. And I'll tell you, just by, see, just by moving it around, you just lift it and drop it. I can tap it, drop it there, fairly sensitive, and you can adjust how long it stays on with this capacitor right here by changing the value, and also that resistor that's an 18 meg that I made, which is this one here. So adjusting that value higher, and making this higher, this was a 47 NF, I made it a 100. So if you go higher and higher on this and that, when you do this, it'll stay on much longer. But it's really good. Well, actually, you can epoxy this with a resin to like a car door panel, the inside of it. And if somebody bangs on the door panel, it'll trigger. But the doormat idea is great. You can have a door, this will go under a doormat, a bunch of these. Or you could put like a thin metal plate over this, so if they step here, it'll still trigger over there. There's a lot of uses. Definitely works good. I'll put the link in the description box. Another really good use, you could even use it for an alarm system type setup. You either tape it to the glass, or you epoxy it. And if somebody hits the glass, or breaks it, there you go. So you just go like that with tap.